All right, guys. All right. All right. We just now got our pre-trip done. We're about ready to row out here. Approximately 45 minutes from our delivery. That beautiful sky back there. You guys can see there or not, but hold on a second here. I'll stop and do a quick scan here for you because it is beautiful mountain view. Want to say good? What is he doing? Get some fuel, I guess. I don't know what he's done. But just wanted to stop in for here this morning and. Thank you. Got a way station here, thirty point oh miles ahead. That is all right. I am super light. You only got like I don't know 31,000 pounds on here. Thirty-one thousand. Look at this new uh, headpiece here. It's not new. I've had it for a while, but I haven't used it in a while. But it allows me to use my hands versus doing all this with one hand. So I'm up here in Winchester, Virginia. at the Pepsi. This is where we will deliver these skidded coils eye to the sky that they will produce Pepsi cans. That light comes on automatically somehow I guess where it be bounce or whatever but because I made sure that was off just how we left it
That's what they should sound like. You torque them down tight enough, they should all sound like that right there. Now, they will not always sound like, what are you doing, Mr. Henry? They will not always sound like that on the opposite side. Get two of these bars out just in case I have to use a little bit of a torque bar to get these down because when I tighten them, I tighten them down. Like, see, for this one, I wouldn't be able to put my bar out, so I gotta get way under here. And this is where I use my, my cheater bar. This is a little tricks of the trade. See, like right there, see, I can't pull my bar out, so gotta go back and re tighten it. those loosened up we'll go over here and I'll show you how I tighten these down we'll come on this rail right here I'll tell you one thing I need to do is I need to get some zip ties and zip tie that wire up Now, if you remember correctly, I threw this one over uh, first after I did my middle. I always go from the back of the trailer to the front of the trailer to try to get these right here to fall, but... Sometimes, there they go, there's one of them. Sometimes they do, sometimes you don't. You just gotta get up there and get them. At least they me fighting with this. I don't know if you can see this or not. With this little rubber rail in here. That thing uh, sometimes gives you a hard time. And that's why sometimes you'll see me yanking and pulling and struggling. It's pretty, feels pretty good out here today. It's about 49, 50 degrees. But uh, looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Well, hello, Mr. Henry. Huh, see how these felt pads come off. The other side did not. So, once I 
get all this wound up. I will uh, get up there and get them. I need to get some more water. I only got about oh yeah, three, three more things. I think I got about five in the refrigerator. Different people do this right here differently, but. Another thing I like to do is mark my trailer. So this part right here is my middle of the trailer. Even though it may not be the middle of the particular trailer, it is the middle of the load points. Going from 21 feet, going from the landing gear to the middle hub of that first axle. You step it off 21 feet, that right there is the spot. And to be sure, when I, when I hauled that uh, 48,280 pound coil, if I would have been back further or up further, <clears throat> I would have possibly been overweight on my uh, drive tires been over 34,000 and uh, been heavy in my, my trailer tires. So now what I like to do is I'll fight with this and then I'll start blowing it up. that tool right there is definitely worth the 28 or 30 dollars whatever it was now Loudoun County paid for to reimburse me for mine but uh, Sometimes you forget and leave these at places that you don't realize until you get back to use it. And you're like, crap, I left that there. So I'm gonna get all these wound up and uh, I'll holler back at you. in here give the paperwork and we'll drive over to the uh, to the dock area run our paperwork in and hopefully get them loaded pretty quick I'll see you in a minute